This development in a horrifying story here at home. Washington State Patrol is investigating at least five separate shootings that occurred on Interstate 5 Monday night into Tuesday morning. A suspect is in custody at this hour. The horrifying string of shootings happening through King and Pierce counties left two people in the hospital at least and one person critically injured. The State Patrol first posted on X about the shootings at 927 last night, noting the first one occurred on northbound I-5 at 320th, where a passenger was injured. 15 minutes later, the State Patrol said they got another call regarding a shooting that happened on northbound I-5 at MLK. No victims were harmed in that shooting and only a vehicle sustained damage. At this time, there's no suspect vehicle description in connection to that second shooting. Shortly after that second reported shooting, someone between 845 and 850, the State Patrol got a call uh, reporting another shooting that occurred at northbound I-5 at I-90 where a passenger was injured. The Seattle Fire Department said after that third shooting, uh, their crews treated a 20-year-old woman who was reported to be in critical condition. She was driven to Harveyview Medical Center. Uh, we're hearing there were two more shootings near Fife at around 11 p.m. last night. Several agencies helping out and making an arrest of the suspect in that area. They're still looking into whether or not all five shootings happen to be connected. I think people need to be aware um, and just if they see any aggressive driving, uh, make sure that you call 911 so that our troopers out on the road can address these problems. Don posting this reaction on Facebook. How can people even let their kids drive these freeways anymore? Washington lawlessness is getting worse. And Amber posting simply, God, I'm tired of these types of idiots. And frankly, I am too, Steve. I am too. This is just horrible. Yesterday yeah. on Arc Seattle, we were talking about shootings happening on buses, on yep. metro buses, yep. and people being in danger trying to get to their destination on a bus. And yep. now you hear about freeway shootings, and this isn't the first time we've reported on freeway mm -hmm. shootings in the past couple of years. People in their cars being jeopardized by, by, by lawlessness, by people shooting and who knows why they're shooting who knows who who are these culprits thankfully someone's in custody yeah. but um it's just it's hard to hear and it honestly causes so much fear for all of us just trying to get where we need to go it's terrifying to think that you're driving to school you're driving to work wherever you're going yes. and you have to worry about somebody pulling out a gun mm -hmm. and firing at you while you're driving down to the road we've also reported on incidents where people are throwing rocks or objects at cars yep. i mean it's getting to the point where it's like you know Obviously, you have to pay attention while you're driving down the freeway, especially right. something like I-5. But now you have to worry about other things being thrown at you instead of, like, mm -hmm. worrying about weaving through traffic or getting through traffic or getting to your destination on time. It's terrifying. Yeah. You know, thankfully, there appears to have been an arrest in this case. Again, we're still trying to figure out if all five of those shootings are connected. But if they're connected to one person, five shootings. And that's another concerning part because we're talking about a widespread area. Yes. Five, Federal Way. Yes. I-5 at I-90. That's right here in Seattle. Right. So it can happen anywhere. Just be vigilant. Yeah, good advice. And that brings us to our poll question this morning. This is what we're asking. What is your biggest concern when driving area roads? Uh, more than half saying incidents like we just reported on, that road rage, that violence that sometimes happens from time to time. 21% saying bad drivers, 14% at the bottom saying congestion and delays, and then 13% at the top saying drunk or impaired drivers. Uh, again, add your vote by pointing your cell phone's camera at that QR code on the right-hand side of your screen. There's going to be a link that pops up when you do that. You can tap that with your finger uh, and then add your vote to our tallies there. And remember, you can always be part of the Arc Seattle conversation uh, by using that hashtag ArcSeattle when you post on social media so that we can see your comments. If you